Hi guys, I'm from behind the camera today and today is a bittersweet day for me. Um, I'm going to show you my main demo room that is going to start being dismantled today. Um, reason, reason why we are taking it apart is because my clientele has sort of moved to where they want custom install full THX certified systems. So um, let me give you a brief overview of what I have now and what is going to become. So first year to the side, I just have some collectibles, some Lego, some 4K collectible um, Blu-rays, accomplishments, um, different training that I had of the products that um, I demo and sell, got my logo on the door. To the side here, just some movies, some posters, some Batman up there. Captain Marvel, Deadpool, and some cleaning stuff. <laughs> okay, so coming into the room, I have the absolute, some of my favorite speakers. Man, I'm going to miss these. These are Definitive Technology BP Series 1980s. So to give you an idea of how big these beasts are, they are, they are huge speakers, but they also have huge sound. These are bipole speakers, so it's an MTN design, mid tweeter, mid to the front, tweeter, mid to the back, bipole, and they are powered. So at the back, it's also going to carry my flashlights around to give some more lighting. They have amplifiers built in, excuse the wiring, this changes a lot. Aluminium feet, no plastic are used on these. There are three 12 inch drivers one two and one on the other side over there so they are one is active with a 400 watt plate amplifier and two of them are passive at the top this flips up so you have your um, atmos modules built in they the bdss design let me see if i can light and show see there's a rub on in and outside of this driver so what that does is if it gives the speaker double the um, double the range of a, of a smaller driver. Um, they also have that same tech on everything. Everything on this is aluminium. No plastic to be found in these speakers. So as you would expect, you pay a premium for them, but still coming in at a good price. Um, I've, I don't know of any speakers in this price that plays like this. Center speaker. Same type of design, subwoofer, let's see if you can see it, you might be able to see it. 8 inch subwoofer on top, mid tweeter mid design, powered again, that lights on when it's playing. Um, Optoma Ultra Short Throw Projector, laser, this is also going, we're changing this whole setup. Um, another 9080 to the side, receiver running in here is the Denon 8500 flagship unit that's staying that is a beast you can't replace it at the back we have 9060s in those we have 10 inch powered woofers same design slightly smaller drivers um, atmos module can go on top but now it just has the aluminium brushed aluminium pad that can clip off and like like so once again hear that aluminium no plastic in these speakers to the other side, another 9060 to the back. Uh, it's, don't know if you guys can see it. it's dark and this flashlight battery is going out on me. 9040s at the rear of Atmos modules. In the ceiling, these will be staying. Um, DevTech 8 inch ceiling, same BDS design, so it almost gives you a 10 inch um, at the end of it. So, 120 inch custom screen by ourselves. Um, why this is changing is a THX system is designed for movies and it is what you will find George Lucas, Universal Studios, all those guys, they actually mix their audio on THX systems. So people don't want these big hulking speakers in their THX theaters. They want proper set 
set speakers behind the acoustic transparent screen or to the sides hanging from the walls as you would see in your local cinema and then have a beast of a subwoofer doing the low end. Um, they can also be custom installed to a point where you do not see any speakers and that is what most of the clients that I find coming in want. I do have my normal clients coming in wanting a, a nice set of speakers, taking them, installing them themselves but you also get the client that sits down and he wants to buy the experience, he wants the room. So we'll agree on a price, go look at his place and then build him that cinema from scratch in his house. So that is what I'm gonna start specializing in from here on out. Still doing the speakers, but that will be a main part of the business. Um, here I have some of my collectibles, some Star Wars posters, Iron Man, some plenty of Marvel, Dragon Balls, um, Kratos, Street Fighter, and some old school horror, and old school Freddy. And to the other side, my Lego addiction continues. Some more Lego, Funko Pops, more Funko Pops, and some collectible Marvel, oh, I mean Marvel, X Men. Yeah. Rocking the PlayStation 5, there's a full review on that as well. If you go through my videos, I'll also drop a link. Um, great for games, crappy for media, hopefully they update that. But this is all going to change. This screen is going to go up. Speakers are going to be mounted to the bottom on wall. None of this clunkiness is going to be here. It's going to be a clean cinema setup. So I will keep you posted as we go through this. Um, what, what happens to the room from now? All these panels I did very DIY and quick. They're all going to be coming off. Logos will be staying. Just going to the new brands that are going to be in here. Not going to share the brands as yet. I will share them as they come with unboxing videos. And this will be top tier, guys. Um, so this room is going to, I think it's going to change for the last time. There's nothing better than what I'm putting in now. Um, it's going to be top tier cinema grade for... The biggest you can go for a house cinema setup. Anything bigger than that will be IMAX and stuff that you probably can't afford to put in your house and too big for your house in any case. Okay guys, please like, subscribe and then I will keep you posted. Um, some new stuff coming soon, unboxing videos and then as this room unfolds. Thanks guys, till later. Cheers. Bye.